var synd. Jag uppskattar hjälp på sådana här sorters spel. Something big is about to go down in Clapper's Rick. Så var turistkillen. Ska vi se vad det här tredje delen går ut på. Oh crap. Where the hell am I this time? I feel like I hit the floor of a chicken shed and the chickens. Spyware yelp there, what's that for smell? Oh, I hope it's not me again. Not the worst place I've ever woken up in. Oh well. Okay. Let's see if we can get someone's attention. Nurse! That's a new one. Something tells me this ain't Clapper's Royal. The severed cow on the floor should have been an early clue. But what the hell am I wearing? I should charge myself for indecent exposure. Yeah. There would have been a... Festive. Tar vi alltid en liten tutorial eller bara? Jag vet inte om jag har blivit kallad på att jag inte 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 har I really hope it's the relaxing sounds of the Amazon rainforest. Tror jag inte det. Now I can recall the last wheezing breaths of my own death rattle. Yep, can you say that? Man, we can't just get sugar from meat first. Barnsley. Kommer ni om ett avsnitt av Criminal Minds? Åh, oh, crap. Och så. Då får min hör så också. Det är som en treadmill. Jag vill spela game. Up yours, you son of a bull licker. I can't even hear that day. Hello, I am flattered he's gone to all this effort for me. Why didn't he just club me to death while I was asleep? Mm-hmm. Had you watched Cooks, had you heard that? Oh no, anything but that. I'd accept any other form of torture. I'd happily watch reruns of the telly booth seven days straight dressed as a schoolgirl spread eagle in the prison shower room of a pedo wing. Just no okay. exercise. Okay, I will verklicken inte träna. Can we pluck up the hair? Can we? Maybe just another five minutes. No, I better crack on. I think I can see. Mm-hmm. Hopefully we'll hop up on the screen. I'm not in any hurry to get on there. Might as well finish the tutorial first. Okay, yeah. Oh, super! This might get me twenty p at the Oxfam. Enough already. I have no idea. What are you, an idiot? I'm just like the three of spells now. Maybe I'll just try it for a bit. I'm getting curious as to what he has in store. Oh, ja, this goes against everything I stand for. Du, jag tycker verkligen inte om löpband jag heller, så att det är lugnt. Buggeration, Lamb, I'm almost glad to see you. My gosh, Hector, what has he done to you? Look away. You, you don't want to see this. I'm surprised you even recognize me. I must have lost about ten stones so far. Nej, så fort går det inte. Oh, crap. Where are we? 
And how come all of a sudden you want to get in shape? Well, I thought, I'm trapped in a room full of feces. Now's a good time to start a six-week fitness plan. <laughs> oh, retardation, Lambert. I'm trying to save our lives. Ugh. I'm in a filthy, gangrenous tub. My two biggest fears at once, dirt, and my fear of one day turning into a human prune. The toaster, I don't mind Fun so much. Prune for a coming off it. You do know what happens when a live toaster mixes with water, don't you? You soggy toast. Death <laughs> by toaster. Oh, flip. We're definitely not getting out of this one alive, Lambert. Oh, crumbs. I'll never see Philomena or TV again. Okay. If that toaster drops, it'll cook Lambert to a crisp. Uh -huh. Actually, that probably improve the smell in here. <laughs> Plus, I could eat him later. Get the heavy armor's camera out. Lambert, I can't go on much longer. You're going to have to die. What? No, you can do this. Just pretend you're running a marathon for charity. Well, that doesn't help at all. Highly unrealistic. Okay, okay, forget that. Pretend you're um, running to catch the last five minutes of happy hour while chasing a giant meat pie. Better. I can do this. <laughs> okay, can I... Yeah, so I can it. Gonna be spring. I knew I should have been a sheriff. I've got to find a way to block that pipe. Okay. I've got to find a. Yo, hello! Just got back from grocery hunting. The shops are very packed. Why are they so packed? If I stop running, that slurry keeps pouring in. Okay, so keep we running. Need to stop it somehow. I need you been done, yeah. That's, if I that's get true. This thing, I'd come over, shake your hand, and say, "Congratulations, you're retarded." Can I plug it, that in. It might work. If only I could reach it. It's Easter weekend coming up, dude. I don't care about Easter. That's why I didn't know that. Well, I have Friday off from work, that's good. So thanks for that, Easter. Should have worn virus. <laughs> yeah, that might have been a good idea. People go crazy when there's a four-day weekend and I forgot to fix my chat box. Gotta have a retarded chat box today again. If I keep jogging in half an hour, I might be trim enough to crawl. He hates when the store is packed with people. So do I. So do I. We're usually in town on Fridays with a gang of friends, and we go to the store, and it's always packed on Fridays. It's on. Everybody's got, okay. Can we do something I'll with this? Nope. We've learned something today. Never attempt to simulate the upside. I got cheese and ham croissants. That sounds delicious. I've got to find a way to block that pipe. Yep. Yep. Um, okay, back to the treadmill, you fat prick. Go. I really don't. Too much How does the the the, the, the level of no work? I don't see any grates in the floor or something. Toasters are lethal and should. While I'm at it, buying and selling of all exercise apparatus will be prohibited, punishable by death. Okay. Plan. <laughs> okay, okay, cool. So we're good now. out off the river of crap for a bit. The now river of next? crap. <clears throat> oh, yeesh, the day never ends. Need to find a pair of pants as well. Hmm. There might be a small part in here I could use as a lockpick. Then good. I don't know where my ideas come from, but why did we take the bread? bread. It's like they're channeled through you from a higher being. What are you doing today then, Hollow? Uh, all what are you going to do for the evening? And Spyware as well. What are you guys up to? The Ono oh No family. Pick the curves. Sounds like a good idea. Way to go, boss. I oh. was picking locks before you were off your mother's teat. <laughs> you know, sometimes... Don't finish that sentence. Underpants would work, yep. 
Do you like pushing him around? It's fun. Hit the lever hand in the bottom left. Okay, we can swap. It says it is, it is the same as in the second episode. You can play with both of them. I can't shift it. Okay. Nothing special? Playing games? Maybe fit it with ROM hacks? That's I'm actually gonna try that as well. Uh, we'll send Lambert down. We're almost home free! Which one of us is going down now? Let's see. Which one of us is shaped like a bean pole? Oh, you know I suffer from claustrophobishness. Do we really need another game of cheese cracker soup? There's no point. I always lose. I'm beginning to think you just make up the rules as you Super go. Super adventure so I box. End up with a short straw. Is that a thing in back no, no, here? There are clear set rules to the game. I'll explain them Is to that you one day. Else? What wrong hacks are you gonna do, up? Hollow? No, Lambert. There'll be no more uh, Pokemon randomizers. Or grooves. Only copious amounts of crap. Oh, I can probably handle that. With you as my partner, I deal with copious amounts of crap every day. <laughs> Lambert was that bat chat. I'll see you in China. Well, I'd be blowed. <laughs> I could have swore you was a newborn calf squeezing out of a cow's jacksy just then. Trying to Even bear a trap right here. At the end. <clears throat> Perfect crystal and attempting to randomize crystal. Oh, the Guild Wars thing. Yeah, that's right. So what's perfect crystal? I shouldn't touch anything with a sharp point. I don't even use scissors without asking another adult for help. Okay. Let's talk to the farmer. I'm sorry to trouble you, but do you know how to get a man out of a septic tank? I do now. Though, given the choice, I would have gone out the edge near the barn, he said. I just realized that SAB Tribulation Mode is the exact thing you said you didn't want. Kaizo thing. Well, I know I don't like Kaizos in Super Mario. I never tried it in Guild Wars. So, uh, do you have a maybe I can... Use? Maybe I like it? I don't know. Food, you say? I never heard of is it on during that? the weekend? You never heard of a telephone? It's a communication device that transmits and receives the human voice over long distances. <laughs> Whatever you say, future man. What are you doing out here at this late hour? Doing my nightly patrol of the perimeter of me land for uninvited ramblers. Oh, well, that's nice of you to invite and welcome visitors to rural England. Been setting out rambler traps too. Takes your leg clean off, I will. Won't be bloody rambling again any time soon. If you spot any, give us a shout. Oi, heads up. Damn, skimmed its leg. Listen, boy, you seem nice enough, but if I ever catches you this side of me fence, I'd have to shoot you in the face. Understood. Okay. Have you observed any Perfect Chris is a ROM hack, restores price, fixes difficulty, well, makes the animals right level 100, and allows TMs to now get sort. destroyed. Oh, it's by stones in stores, and lets strange sounds coming from that there. The bold trade only like mons with no stones. Or beast Tons or of things. I never heard. So it's that from tomorrow oh, until April 9th. Then like I'm gonna have time. From cows, and that's good enough I was afraid it was just gonna be like a day or two. Do you have any sort of uh, transport I could employ? All I've got's me two legs, same as you. Why, what's wrong with yours? Oh, nothing. It's just quite a trek back to town. What would you call 73 miles of trek? That's a light stroll, that is. When's the last time you saw Barnsley? Just a Barnsley? Evening, actually. Kept going on and on about this clap fest. What's it? Is that the tourist for guy? For yonks. I don't remember the names. Don't go though. Don't much like <laughs> the general public. See. Clap fest? What do you know about that? Big old town festival. Something about the rebirth of clappers, reapers, some such. 
apparently the old lot's turning up for some spectacular hmm. event. So that's where it's gonna be coming. Or whatever. So I just stay here and rub lotion onto Hillary and the girls. Can you tell me anything else about Clapfest? Only that the old town's coming out for it, which means I in. Sort of like you, dude. Okay, oh, so... He did not like that. Okay, okay, fine. Someone could get hurt leaving something so dangerous lying around. So do I need to go countryside? It's like I'm trapped inside farm. He's not wearing pants button. either. <laughs> It's like I'm trapped inside Farmville without a quit button. Okay, I need something. Cows are actually quite intelligent creatures. Apparently, some of them even have GCSEs. You're thinking of RPGH. No, wait. I was thinking of pigs. Cows are actually rather dumb. Farmerize your buttocks. Can you tell me? Only that the old town. Yeah, that's not anything new. Do you have any? Oh my God! That's oh, not nothing. anything new. Bye, Mr. Can I pick up the rocks? To be frank, it was kind of fun coming out of there, like a water slide, except instead of water, it was excrement. How is that fun? Farmyard. He said, though, if I if I'm inside the fence, he'll shoot me. Right, there's got to be another way into that horrible tank. Yeah, probably. I mean, surely that pipe's not how we got in there in the first. Oh, Minish my Cap. Days. It can't be. It the is. Game Boy Advance, a stream a... chat oh, works no, well no, together. I'm not going no anywhere. Time for that now. Played back when it was released on one of the now, two set of games I've ever enjoyed. Hiding? Are you really gonna hate it now? Why are you gonna hate it now? Okay, so we'll probably need the rake. <clears throat> Take rake. <laughs> that rhymes. That rhymes I'm a indeed. Poet and I didn't realize. <laughs> Takes a little bit more effort. Look at the engine. Yeah. <laughs> Not yet. I'll wait until Hector's out to tell him the good news. Okay, good news, you say? Oh, I can't. Why are we... Okay, never mind. Hmm. Locked. Always locked. Look at the fan. I can see light through there. On the other you side seem to of the hate Zelda. Sharp steel fan Probably blades. gonna affect the two games I thought I liked. Which is the other one? Can we pop the fan? Yeah, we can. No, we can't. Well, that's way fast. Rope. Perfect. Assuming Hector can climb I think we're going to use the machine is. to pull the lid of the... <laughs> so there? I bet it'll be a struggle. <laughs> we're going to tie the rope to this. Hector? Uh, no, you piss and it's daily bleeding Thompson. Oh, sorry, wrong hatch. You nutty, it's me. I'm going to get you out of there, okay? Good to hear the plan hasn't changed since a few minutes ago. <laughs> I found the rope. He's so you. rude. Come on up. Oh. <laughs> Wind Waker. That's one of the Zelda games I've never played. So I have no idea how that is. Oh, there we go. On me way. So who knew they didn't make more How Hector games, so eh? Fast. Simple, I yanked out the pinyard. I would have loved some more. The cascading wave of crap to the top. Sign why you got to be a detective. I like, I kind of like point and click adventures, and if it, there's Hector, sick humor in it, it, I'm all game. See what? The decrepit barn or the complete absence of a curry ass. Look, we're saved. I'm still not seeing it. The combine harvester. Is that what it is? I thought it was a cow chipper or something. Cow chipper. It's a 1957 McCracken model 151B combine harvester. Back when I was 16, my dad and I spent the summer dismantling one of these together. I didn't know you grew up on a farm. What? No, a council estate. Anyway, I think I can get us back to Clapper's Reek. 
What on that? I doubt you can make it to the flipping barn. Oh, just let me try. If it doesn't work, you can have half my paycheck. I already take half your paycheck for protection money. <laughs> I meant the other half. Deal. <laughs> okay. He had some stuff, didn't he? Yeah. Broken piñata and a soggy toast. <laughs> hmm. Can we talk about this, Arvista? Right. From what I can see here, we're in need of three things. Oh, let me guess. Case of beer, rare steak, and a hooker. I'm not fussy about the hooker, so long as there's lots of beer first. <laughs> we need a spark plug. No, probably stolen by local eggs to build a potato gun. We need a 7-8 spanner. Hey, probably, yeah. Uh, okay, a spanner. There's no real joke there. And we've got to find some nuts. Well, you can't have mine. <laughs> well, it sounds odd, but it's like someone scoured this entire engine and stripped it of all the nuts. And to this very day, the nut collector still roams these parts. Have you played oh. the games, Hollow? The Hector games? Stop it! Spark plug, a spanner, and nuts. This plan can't fail. That's the spirit. Okay. Now we know what we need. Can we go back here? More into Sam and Max. More blood. Great. A human. Oh, no, wait. I was wrong. He's just a farmer. Dark mode. Do we do something with this? I've got to be careful carrying this around on my purse. Yeah, you probably should disarm it before you put it in your pocket. Jack's crackers. I'm gonna let Lambert talk to this guy. Seems about the same IQ level. Okay, so I don't think we can get any more here, then. This may be the actual primordial sludge that Hick Farmer crawled out of. What pocket? That's also a good question. <laughs> Where does he keep the stuff? Oh, wait, I don't wanna know. I really don't wanna know. Okay, so what? Can we. Well, those things to get. Nah, you're just. Nah. Okay. Why would I ever, 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 what ever, pocket? ever want to go back in there? How should I know? Can we go somewhere else? Deep dark woods. Let's go Looks in there. A bit too rustic back there for my liking. Cowards. I'll get Lambert to do it. Yeah, I'll switch to Lambert. Hammer space confirmed. He's going out in the woods. Oh, okay. Wish me luck. Good luck. I say, it's a bit dark. Rather. <laughs> well, nothing up this way but tricks to shadows and the stuff of nightmares. Oh, poor bags. I mean, oh crumbs. Why ye be in ye wee dress, ye lanky, stanky giantess? <laughs> Who's this weirdo? That tiny man over there. He looks a bit like. Liberty Flu, I were talking to you. Would you oh my god, he's talking in rhymes. You've been doing me little secret. Do you be now wanting we, I did or do? Notice. I think it might. Ye might pass me in the woods and ne'er know it be myself in it at all. No, stop. There's no such thing. Just the effect of the sedative wearing off. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Oh, what would Hector say if we were here? Probably something like, the nice work, poop man, or, or something. Actually, he'd never say nice work. <laughs> Look at we magical being. From whence dost thou hail, O oh wood sprite? From whence dost thou hail, O oh wood sprite? Toss us in clearings, questions and fearings. <laughs> My name's Lambert, what's yours? Names be not what you seek. Oh, that's yeah, true. the oh, nuts, I man. But I tell you anyway, it's. Good. Now we know his name. I 
a mortal. I crave your, um, humble help in this. Bags of help, maybe, but for no useless pillock. There is a curious wisdom in your words. Ye possess the curiosity, nay, no, but no wisdom for no man. What does he want? I could to put it better myself. Bags of help I be. Bags. I. You want bags? Bags. Are you saying you've got something helpful in your little bag there? <laughs> Just a wee peep then. He's actually going to show me his nuts. Care to touch me nuts for luck? Oh. <laughs> Too slow. <laughs> nuts. I, I thought you not carried gold about with you. Precious. More precious than precious. Oh, I see what you're saying. Nuts are more valuable to me than gold at this moment. Stay away from me, gold. Giving me gold is like giving an eel a woolly jumper. What I really need are those nuts. Hands off me, suck ye wee dafty. And as the legend goes, if I can catch you, I can have whatever I like. Nay, me gold, me gold, me gold, me gold. Me. Not for long. If I'm not breaking protocol here, are you really a really real leprechaun? Cuckoo, my pretty. See my sack of plenty. Ooh. Wow. You are, you are, you are, you are. So I have to catch him? <laughs> well, Can I just whack him with a raft? Or just a crazy old man in the woods. All right, little guy. Prepare to be caught. <laughs> <laughs> Quick little guy. Yep, toddle two, be the baby three. Put the rake on the ground and run onto it. I don't have any idea what that means. Is that a thing? I just I don't to... think that. I'm gonna use the raft. Uh, the rake. Sorry, the rake. Oh, that's one shiny, sturdy rake. I get a feeling of ancient stillness when I look at a tree. Or am I just nodding off? There's nothing else here. I wonder if National Express... You talk to the guy again? So nervous, I think I need to pee. <laughs> pee freely given is seldom rewarded. Ain't that the truth? That didn't do anything. Riddles? How many riddles? Oh, I love riddles. My last is in jelly, but never in jam. Tasty on turkey, but loathsome on lamb. What am I? What? Gravy, I have three legs, yay, and none but one but two. Me life be but a sentence, but me snack be but a shoe. What am I? What? A puppy that's been hit by a car? A puppy that's been hit by a car. Was I right about the other one? Paisley on the Wednesday, a Wednesday, a Wednesday, Paisley on the Wednesday, but Paisley This guy Wednesday. makes no sense to me. Are these even real riddles? Are these even real riddles? Nay, begone! Can you show me your nuts again? Now you just be flaunting ye wordplay! <laughs> Do I need something from the sack. previous screen? Get ready to run! <laughs> can't use anything while they're running. <laughs> toddler is a toddler. Toddler is a toddler. <laughs> okay, whatever. I'm just gonna go back, see if I missed something. Just wait till I tell Hector. He'll be so... Um, well, I'm excited anyway. Good, good. 
Oh, you'll never believe me. I'm tired Go today. On, try me. I'm letting you fix the harvester, ain't I? But there's a tiny old man in the woods who seems to be very much like a... Spill it, Lambert. Oh, uh, a leprechaun? Lambert. I saw him with my eyes. I saw his nutsack. Let's get this straight. You met an old man in the woods and he showed you his <laughs> nutsack. Oh, this is all going so wrong. Yep. He had a sack containing the nuts we need for the McCracken. Please, I'm not mad. Philomena says I have a childlike openness to the other side. Just go and look. Oh, ball bags, the things I do for you, Lambert. All right, in my own time. So we need to send him out. Hector. Now it's just Let's gone. See. Trees, sky, rocks, sticks. No bleeding leprechaun. Can I put the trap? A complete soft prammy. I think I can. What the hell am I doing? The only being round here dumb enough to get caught in that is Lambert. And we'll I need him to fix the gut flipping, Nora. This whole plan's absurd. Mars had forgotten about Easter and the self scanner system is down. I hate self scanning systems. And that's it. Now we switch. Because I always buy energy drinks. And there's always age check on those, no matter what. So, even if I'm self-scanning, I'm always going to have to go through the, uh, you know, they have to come and check and they have to verify my age and all that crap. So it's not really faster. <laughs> ha! I got them! Oh, crumbs! I think I may have upset the delicate balance of nah. the forest. You! Other than that, self-scanning is pretty sweet. Funny, he doesn't seem so magical now. Take his nuts. <laughs> I think he's well, in pain. Doody -doody, I've won. <laughs> My victory seems somehow bittersweet. Yep, I understand why they're doing I'm really it. I'm very sorry about the. Take them. Are you really a leprechaun or just a I just thought that. Person? When I bought them a couple of times, the system would know I'm uh, over 15, you know? Serious? You can have me bleeding firstborn, just let me out! It appears I'm not strong enough. Thick! Yet like a toddler in a man's body! I'll have to get my partner, he's much stronger. Again, oh, I'm so sorry. But you won't have to be sorry. Can I just. Oh, he's coming back. Did you get what you came for? Mm-hmm. Well, I'll be. Should I go save him? Mm. Okay, so we need a spanner and we need... What was the last thing we needed? Well, he's gone again. Well, screw that then. We don't buy stuff with eight checks, and we have not had a full check for years. They do the thing where they check through random items though a couple of times. I always have some kind of check, it feels like. Uh, drainage ditch. Uh, okay. Slowly running out of ideas again. Yeah, knocked as usual. And nothing to pick it, so I'm not even going to try. Fair enough. Can we... What are you? I can't. Nope. Don't touch that. Sorry. Don't touch that. Sorry. And as soon as you just be able to bag everything right away, go to the machine, plop the car. Yeah, that that's a good feeling. When it works, it's an awesome thing. I'm probably just unlucky. Well, those things. Nah, you're just... Yeah, I've been stupid for a long time. <laughs> Why would I ever... Why would I ever... I don't know. Let's check the woods again, then. 
What to do? What to do? I don't know what people see in trees. To me, they're just matches in waiting. Matches in waiting, you say? Do anything with this? Nope. No. There's only trees here. Well, if I'm gonna just stand around, I'm. Huh. Maybe talk to the farmer again? With Lambert? Because Hector refuses to? Nothing like the smell of good co And I can't be on the same screen except for here. I don't think I'm supposed to go back into the pipe, am I? You don't happen to know where I can get any spark plugs, do you? What the devil's a spark plug? What, it's a little white electrical engine part. Ah, what well, round here we call that a do flicker. Hillary here loves to eat junk like that, don't you, Hillary? As it happens, I saw her chewing on something like that yesterday. She's been moaning in pain ever since. Stuck down her back sphincter someplace. Okay. Oh, the poor cow. Do you know anything about assembling a McCracken 151B Combine Harvester? Oh, I don't bother with all that farm trickery myself. Time to the help the cow. Machinery <laughs> is the work of the devil. It seems like it's time I to help the cow. the manual way by pulling a plow around a wheat field with me teeth. Why with your teeth? I need that spark plug. Would you mind if I helped Hillary get it out? What? You ask to touch another man's cow? You insult a dairy farmer where he stands? Oh no! No offence, I swear! Okay... Oh, I'm, I'm so terribly Good luck sorry and have for fun. insulting I'll you! I'll do my best! Oh, you went and done it now, boy. Offering to touch a man's cow that's thrown down the gauntlet, that has. No, I swear I... There's no going back till we squares off over this here cow. Square off? Fight! Oh, crumbs! Hector! Come quick! I'm being violently threatened! <laughs> Can we forget all this ever happened? Absolutely not. Rule number seven states that quite clearly. There are rules? Oh, there certainly are. You challenged me for the cow, so we've no choice but to fight on the Dairy Farmer Fight Club rules. But I'm a Every pacifist. Farmer fight club? Then you should have thought of that before you asked to touch up my Hillary. What are these rules exactly? Challenge a dairy farmer and you don't even know the rules? What's the first rule of dairy farmer fighting? What's the fighting? first rule of dairy farmer fighting? Bloody hell. First rule of dairy farmer fighting is, um, you can talk about dairy farmer fighting to whoever you like. Now is that even a rule? It's more of a friendly suggestion. Start in simple. <laughs> second rule. What's the second rule of dairy farmer fighting? Second rule? Once you're ready to formally issue a challenge, you need to show up wearing a ceremonial headpiece. That way we both knows we're equal dairy farmers entering fighting mode. And then it's on, boy. And what's this hat look like? Every farmer has their own style, but it's got to resemble an animal. Third rule? What's the third rule of dairy farmer fighting? Third rule is once a challenge has been propositioned, like, there's absolutely no backing down. Do I have to fight or can I call a friend? Friends fight, don't matter. You can substitute a fighter if you don't feel like getting your hands dirty. Rule number six, that is. I don't usually encourage this kind of aggressive behaviour, but I know someone who's good at this sort of thing. Well, bring him on, boy. What if I refuse? What if I refuse? If I see you trying to leave the area before the fight, rule four says I gets to shoot you in the back as you run off. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I'll be right back. We can sort this out amicably, I'm sure. We certainly will. Dairy farmer style. Oh, it's Stoil been a while that. since I had a good fight. Hector!
Hector, you have to help me out. Oh, gads, how many times a day do I hear that? There's a carroty old psycho farmer who wants to crush me like a grape. I'll bleed, Nell Lambert. What do I always tell you about wandering off and talking to strangers? I only offered to pet Hillary and help her out with her bowel problem. I'll leave you alone for one minute and you proposition a man's wife? Why would you even do that? <laughs> She's a cow. Lambert, what's come over you? It's not like you to belittle women. No, I mean a real one of the bovine variety. He tells me she has a penchant for eating machine parts. The very spark plug we need for the harvester is likely in her lower intestine as we speak. We get that. We're one step closer to getting out of here. So this uh, sparky thing we need to fix the harvester is inside a cow? Affirmative. But he says I've got no choice but to fight him for Hillary. And if we try to leave the area without a tussle, he'll shoot us like dogs. Now, this is important. Did he specifically say us or you? Well, I can't imagine there were two of us. Oh, Christ, Lambert. What does he look like? Could I take him? I don't know, boss. He's quite chunky and his arms are hairier than yours. I'll put this bumpkin in his place. Let me at him. Okay, it's a fight. Let's go beat him up, I guess. It's never that easy. Never, ever. I need a head piece. Shunder it. You threatening my colleague. So the deal is, if you hit him, I hit you. Sorry, Boyle. Your chum here wanted to stick his hand up Hillary's jacksy. Boy says to him if he wants it, he has to fight me for it. Dairy farmer style. Adhering to all the correct rules of combat, of course. Rules? I was expecting to storm over and plant one on your jaw like I usually do. You come back and show me your ceremonial in peace, then we'll have some. Put a pinata on my head. Surely this whole hat rule is only intended to humiliate in an effort to put me off my stroke. Well, it won't work, for I have no shame. I have I no am shame. I'm a tad hesitant about putting this on my head after blocking a slurry pipe with it. Oh well, for honor. All right, Chuckles. Once Hector's all up in your grill, you'll have cowbells clanking in your ears till calfing season. Ah, uh, we sees you're ready to fight in the ancient ways of the dairy farmer. So how's this work then? Somebody ring a bell or something? No, no, we takes it in turns. Since you're the visiting party, you get to go first. Ha <laughs> ha, unlucky uh, for okay, you, This mate. is not gonna end well. We'll see. Uh, fat farmer teeth, sucking lips, organic cauliflower, big popper the chopper dropper. Take a whiff of this cow, Pat. Oh, what in the pink chubby others do you think you're doing? It's a fight, ain't it? It's like you weren't even trying. I'm beginning to wonder if you're even a dairy farmer at this point. Was that not right? Look, it's my turn, all right. But we ain't even really a contest at this point. Now, oh, come on, bring it then. I've got a face like a sack of stones. Huh, looks like I win. What? Did you even compete? Look, Boyle, it's obvious you're new here, so I'm gonna give you a word of advice. What kind of fight was you that? You punching people full ball like that, you're gonna lose a lot of cows. Gotta protect your milking hands, see? Dip them in warm honey and sheep urine every night. Makes them soft and supple. Anyway, you want another shot at the title? Just show up with your hat again. I know. What uh, just happened? Okay. I don't understand anything. Let's go again. Right, me first this time, just to remind you. Jeepers, I'm gonna have a bruise. Okay, your turn. I think what? I'll have the hang of this now. I'm gonna stroke the chin, caress his cheek, tickle his earlobe, or pile driving his forehead into his rural brain. I don't think that's good, so we're gonna we're gonna caress his cheeks. Prepare to have the cows come home on your face. What? 
I've a right mind to shoot you where you stand. I really thought that was coming out softly this time, I swear. Oh, I ain't okay, these okay. things, but Hillary's worth it. Let's do this again. Another round. <laughs> Prepare. Okay, your turn. I think I've got the hang of this now. I don't got the hang of this. Brushish unkept sideburn. Make a wish on his stray eyelash. Waft air towards his neck. Got to break his nose so badly he'll find bits in his mouth weeks from now. I think we took the last option f the first time. I'm gonna brush his sideburns. Put. Guess I'm not much of a dairy farmer. You can say that again. Hmm. I just can't do soft. Hector can't be gentle. Nope. Another round. <laughs> Prepare yourself. I'll just take the violent option this time. Okay, your turn. I think I've got the hang of this now. No, you don't. No, I think I think this. Nope. <laughs> Guess I'll. Okay, I'm going for the violent I'll option. Just Number. Prepare. Let's click through the text. Okay. I think I've got the. It's either the eyelash or the the broken nose. Guess I'm. I guess Hector has to do this. I just can't. I'm gonna have to see if. Sorry, I meant Lambert, of course. Can I give him the silly hat? If I can. Lambert, it's your round. What, me? Yes, I've learned you're far more suited to dairy farmer rules than I ever will be. Any fighting tips? Only this, Lambert. I want you to hit this guy as hard as you can. I'm not sure about this. What if he ends up in casualty? He won't. You can trust me on this one. Okay, Lambert, let's go. I used to like farms. <laughs> you used to like farms. Put on the silly hat. I used to love pinatas before today. I used to love... Okay. Closer. What would he? I used to love. He was the opposite of jolly. Uh, Mister. Oh, ah, uh, fresh meat. You think you're a better farmer than me, do you? You think you can touch up another man's cow and live to tell the tale, hey? Um. Well, go on, boy. Take your best dairy farmer swing. Okay, but just so you know, some people have affectionately nicknamed me the Naughty Kitten on account <laughs> of my irritable temper. I think I'm Bob and Silly's, Bob and Slank for hitting, or doing sex, dancing, salsa classes. What? Oh, you're good. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hurt you. He made me do it. That'll be hard to beat, we can tell you. No, my turn. No, no, no! Uh, wouldn't you know it? You win square and fair. Okay. I was fooling myself to think I could ever beat your blue. You're the stuff of legend now. <laughs> You'll be talked about round these parts for many years to come. What's your name, stranger? Lambert. Well, that ain't too legendary. Now, you'll be forever known as Baylor the Limp Wristed. Go on, Hillary. You've got a new daddy now. You got a new daddy now. Okay. Oh, yay! Boss, we got Hillary. I've always wanted a best friend. Come on, Hill. Let's hang out. How am I going to get that spark plug out of her? Just shove your arm right in. How the <laughs> hell should I... I know? I'm not going in. 
and my piñata went away. Hector only has the bread. What's the matter, partner? Go on, you tell good old Lambert what's on your mind. Beat it, chump. It's a slice of burnt crack covered toast. I'd consider eating it, but it's multi grain. <laughs> Maybe the cow will eat it? Nah, can't be asked. Uh, Why would I ever? I have no idea. Moo? No, thought so. What? What are you? Okay, well, it's nothing with that. What do I do with the toast? Oh, Ow. Mm, strong door for a barn. The rope is. Um, don't touch, don't that. touch that. Oops, sorry. Back into the woods. Probably not. Maybe Hector. Sorry, Lambert needs to go into the woods again. Talk to the little guy. If he's still here. I need to help him out. No, he's gone. Vanished, but I saw him. I spoke to him. I held his nutsack. Cool. I should use the nuts on the... Uh... Machine, though. A nutsack's not much good if you don't have the tools to go with You're it. Right, you need this banner. I'm saying nothing. <laughs> I'm saying nothing. Can I do stupid? Smoke? Oh, no. it's no use. I have the arms. I don't think I can rake the cow, can I? Uh, that's one of those things. Like but I'd never say. <laughs> Have I already tried this? I just don't think that would do I any good. Neither do I, honestly. It was too slippery on the way down. I'd never get back up. Okay, so here we go. What would heck to do? Property line. You heard what that guy said. Rake the line, no? So? Uh, uh, what am I? F it's like I'm trapped inside Farmville without a quit button. <laughs> I should probably find a glove or something. After all, yes, I need a glove. You heard what that guy said. Can't go in there. So where's a glove? I need to get into the barn? How do I get into the barn? I can't do this, right? I'm not going down there again. No. Nope. Unless Hector tells me to, of course. Can't. Stupid l I just don't think. What would heck to do? Okay, ideas, ideas. Do I have any? Send sense. Does this game make any? What's the matter, Pop? Any ideas on how to get us out of here? What do you think I'm doing with this here McCracken? 
Same thing I do over the sink with a fresh copy of Bits and Pieces monthly. Oh, don't you worry, boss. This will be fixed in a jiffy. How long is a jiffy exactly? How long is a jiffy exactly? The same amount of time it takes to find a spark plug, some nuts, and a spanner. So, any time between ten minutes from now and never in a month of monkeys. <laughs> monkeys! <laughs> Can we talk about this, Arvista? Haven't gone anywhere with this spanner. Have you tried the barn? Barns usually have tools in them. No, barns usually have animals in them and large quantities of poo. I better bring a rake then. I have a rake. I see you've got some nuts. Oh yeah, it was so magical. Except for the screaming, of course. I heard that. I thought you'd seen a centipede. Got that spark plug out of Hillary's arse yet? Oh, no. Hillary must be so uncomfortable. What should I do? I don't know. Use your head. Oh, good idea. Oh, but I should get some goggles or something. Sorry, forgot who I was talking to. Use your arm. Oh, much better. Should probably still <laughs> find some protection, though. I do. On second thought, I'd rather be alone. Empty the bag. Nuts. Nuts. <laughs> what am I? F There's got to be another way in. After all, what if there was a fire? How would the cows escape? I have no idea. Stupid. I tried. I tried this. Well, those things. Nope. The cow didn't want the bread. So what do I do? Once again, a space that I am thankfully too fat to fit through, and people wonder why I don't work out. Can you kick down the door? Maybe I should try to find enough. It appears to be some sort of door. There's nothing else on this scene. So it's there. If you guys have an idea, feel free to tell me. Talk to the cow. Moo moo. Mm. Hey. Doesn't. Now you're just be. Nah. What are you? Oh. First fart I ever lost. <laughs> so you say. In that, how can such a simple plan contain so many errors? I don't know. Whew. Right, from what I can see here, we're in need of three things. Yep, but well, let me not f we, we, I, and we've got the well, you can't have it's out. And spot that's the I'm not yeah, sticking there any is. part of me in there while that blade is turning. Check it out. Get the spanner. How do I get in? Can't imagine doing an actual real life crisis. I'm 
tried ramming the rake into there. <laughs> and the Hector has to do it, by the way. Here, maybe this will help. Help what? Well, you never know. He's stronger. I, I... Yep, okay. Lambert, shake a leg. Don't let go. Don't tempt me. <laughs> Don't let go. Oh, God. Curious? That looks weird no for a barn. No feed. No manure. It appears this barn is not a barn at all. Okay, this is a barn. Evil plans. What does it all mean? I don't want to touch it. I'd only make a mess of it. Huh. Being a barn, I kind of expected there to be a lot more, well, poo and stuff. <laughs> the superhero boys like when he dropped out of there, yeah. Nice change from what I'm used to. That is so true. Hmm. It's some sort of secret lab. Hey, it's a 7 8 spanner like the one what I need. Oh, that's not all that's in there. It's a. Uh, it's a. Uh, oh, I can't go in there. Hector will have to get it for me. I just can't deal with that. What is that? It's some sort of laboratory. Hey, I think I see a spanner on a table in there. So it's get in and get it. Hey. Boop. Didn't do anything. It's some sort of labor. Boop. Didn't do anything. Okay. It looks like a control panel. No way. I think it is a control panel. It is. Smart ass. I wonder what would happen if I took this pin and put it over here. <laughs> And it all falls apart like a house of cards. Okay. How is that helping? Anyway. Once again, a space that I am... Get in. Some sort of laboratory. Hey, I think I'll see us. Lambert, can you do something with oh, this? Oh no. Never press a button if you don't know what it does. I learned that back at Value Land. Uh, it's some kind it of control anyway. panel. Probably does something in that next room. But use oh, it, no. okay? I can't. I can't. Oh no. Do I need to find a. Manual? Some sort? He goes straight for the control panel though. Boop. Didn't do anything. Boop. Didn't do anything. Boop. Didn't do anything. Boop. Didn't do anything. Nothing of this does anything. Boop. Didn't do anything. All those things together. Now you. Hey, now you can go in here. Badger. Hey there, little guy. Huh? This is probably bad. But I need this glove. Well, I'll be a monkey's Uncle Bob. A set spanner. spanner, just like the one Lambert needs. Sometimes I can't believe my luck. Guess I'll just be on my way then. Uh, seems to be locked, and there doesn't appear to be anything on this side to open it. Should I feed him? It's a lab grade, high tensile, seven ply latex rubber glove. In certain situations, we call these rough riders. Okay. 
too much information, yo. That glove is separating me from that badger for a reason. Hold it. Nah, can't be asked. Okay. What are you? Open the door, Lambert. I'm going to try one of these buttons. Come on, Lambert. You can do this. As Hector always says, if there's any job not worth doing, get Lambert to do it. <laughs> That's because he knows I'm reliable, you see? Okay, here goes. Lambert! Uh oh! Greetings! The lab is now sealed. It's Barnsley. Another trap. Testing will commence in ten seconds. Where is that emaciated Tash Twangler? I don't think he's here. I think it's all pre programmed. Doesn't make me feel any better. So was that cassette tape. Test subject armed. Something on this badger just beeped. Well, that's good news. How is that good? <laughs> How is that good? It's very likely you're not test subject. Well, brill. Test commencing. Okay. Sweet Pinola guy, he's detonated. Lambert, what the hell did you just do? Don't pin this on me. Ingestion complete. Arsenal taking effect. Arsenal? What the hell is Arsenal? Wait, it's clearing. Oh, crap. Not our only word. Bloody badger's gone rogue. Lambert, I'm not too proud to tell you I'm not enjoying this. Okay. So, press another button. I'm going to try another button. Oh, there's one here that says nice. open. Hmm, it didn't work. Yes, it did. Technically, the open button did exactly what it said. The cage, you numpty. You opened the cage. Badger looks hungry. Maybe I should try to feed him bread. Hey, jump. How about a slice of wet, tasty brown toast? Lambert, no one, repeat, no one at the station is to ever hear of this. We're clear. Can I take the glove now? One of these babies has saved my bacon on numerous occasions. There we go. Now we just need to get out. Third time's the charm? I hope so. Bad things come in threes. Hunky dokey. Outside door controls. Test complete. Sweet. Nice work, Lambert. I've started to think of you as the son I never had. A horribly disfigured, unplanned, and not particularly <laughs> loved child. What the, the hell? son you have no qualms about bringing behind the woodshed with a switch. But a child, all the same. I will take what little sentiment I can from that and place it way down deep for later. Now, can I just ask what the hell just happened? Perhaps we should do a quick recap in case this is important later. Right. First you locked me in. It locked itself. Then you played the glockenspiel. It was the computer! <laughs> which pissed off the badger, causing it to explode with rage. I think that sound made the device on the badger explode. The badger was then replaced with a bastard badger from hell. And whatever was in that black thing turned the badger into a... a... Bastard badger from hell? Well, for lack of a more technical description, yes. Right. Right. So what in the name of Jesus, Jessup, horse trotters in a vat of urethane does any of this even mean? I haven't a clue. You really need that printed on a t-shirt. I have. Last Christmas you got me that, remember? I didn't get you anything last Christmas. Oh, but I thought... Ah, must have been your wife. She buys you things and puts my name on them so you don't feel like a reject. <laughs> Here's your bloody spanner. Thanks, boss. Okay, so can we give him the glove so he can go and... <clears throat> Fix the cow. Better you than me. That's one way of putting it in. We're making progress. I'm pretty oh, sure. Tried jamming the 
fan with Hector, but apparently I didn't. Get spark plug out of Hillary's ass! This shouldn't hurt a bit. If it does, I apologize in advance. Now, I've never done this, but I've used a rubber glove just like this one to help my gran on with her pile cream. Oh, you don't have any hoof and mouth disease, do you? Oh well. I'm nowhere near your hooves or mouth, so Progress chances are no I'll pick up any sort of disease from this. <laughs> now this game is turning out weird. <laughs> Blighter. Good girl, Hillary. You were amazing. Is the glove still in the cow? <laughs> oh, God. Let's get out of here. Oh, perfect. I'll have this thing together faster than two shakes of a cow's tail. How's it coming together, Lambert? Great! Why, I remember when me and I think about cow now. Save it for Oprah. <laughs> That's now a good soon. one, Hollow. That's a good one. A spark plug and hello, Clappers Reek. Can't wait. Oh, Hillary, you've never let me down. That's it. Spark plug, nuts, and a spanner. We're on the home stretch. And now, as Philomena always says to me. Just do what you have to do while I mentally tune out for a bit. <laughs> oh, Philomena, Lamp is coming home. Was that an inside in his sixth life? I'm not life? so sure about this. Hillary looks a little bit agitated, and technically, we're participating in cruelty to animals. Trust me, Lambert. I've seen John Craven do this once on Cubs. What are they Island. doing? Cows love this kind of thing. Now button it and get ready. Oh. It worked. Shift over. I'm driving. Oh, we've got a town to save. Ah, <laughs> oh, retards. Seventy three miles. Workout did you some good? Oh, bloody harvester. Well, just a few more miles would have done it. <sighs> Under the circumstances, she did well. Oh, good old McCracky. Right, Lambert, we need to move fast. Easier said, I know. Uh, I'll give you a second to catch your breath. Oh, then we need to warn the general public about this. Terrorist threat over there. There's one. Sir, run away. Run away immediately. Lambert, you're frightening people. Let me handle this. Ford! So maybe they got a biochemical bomb primed to go off at this very festival. A synthetic toxin is about to be unleashed on Clash. Oh, what the sound of a code it sounds good to me. Marauding bastards. And there's a small chance that rodents are behind this. No, you imbecile, that was the test subject. Oh, please, for the love of sauerkraut, get away while you still have the use of your limbs. Sauer... Didn't you hear what he just said? Run for it! Sauerkraut? No. Hey, yippee. You said... Buggeration. This approach is pointless and time-consuming. We can't warn everyone individually. We need to find a way to warn the entire town all at once, causing a mass panic and a crushing stampede for the exit. That's a plan. Uh, let's take the coffee cup. I could carry it around and inhale the fumes all day. There's nothing Rubbish I bin. like more than hoking in public bins. It's not degrading at all. Nope, not at all. <laughs> what kind of stupid prize is an empty plinth? Probably not empty for 
Well, that well. is one great steaming kettle of something. Oh, blimmin' it. Is that the time already? We put that pink X on there on the first episode. Be, man, but this way. <sighs> oh. Uh, Meet a murderer. Oh. Okay. Chief, I'm almost glad to see you. We need to move fast. Hector Lambert, I'm shocked. Turning up to a public event square in the eye of the greater community. And you've chosen to wear that. But Chief... Lambert, this is the sort of Tommy Rot I've come to expect from Hector, but not from you. Tommy oh, Rot. Sir, I'm a disgrace to my profession. I've been telling him that for years. Look, mate, you dare address me as an equal? What happened to respect? Protocol? Do these things mean nothing anymore? Not in the face of total civilian annihilation. I'll get no excuse for it. Okay, so let's meet this murderer. Waterboard. <laughs> Illegal weapons. I bet it feels nice to see the Earth's sun once again, I eh, chum. Mm. <laughs> Meat. <laughs> okay, so I guess we're just gonna release the murderer and then everybody will panic. In keeping with the government's new open-door policy, Meeks has posted a list of what the police service budget was squandered on this year. Oh, great, you brought the weapons cash. Hand it over. I beg your pardon. These are for the community display. It's a collection of things we don't use in everyday police work. Allegedly. Public eye and all that. Time for a kip. Talk to the guys. Talk to the guys. Sir, the people of Clapper's Reek are in grave danger. What? Preposterous. I'm the chief of police. I outrank you. Surely, if there were any danger, I would have known about it first. What kind of thing is that to say? Some sort of infectious toxin is primed for release at this very event. Toxin? Don't be daft. The only illness this town has is Clepfest fever. The town is positively virulent with excitement and uh, infectious with General Tom Jeez. Fury and mucking about. Why, I'm as giddy as a schoolboy and about as useful in a fist fight. Need back so up. Need back up. <laughs> well, you're in luck, dear boy. Every man on the force is here already. I are where? Why, in the beer tent, of course. I was rather surprised you weren't in there earlier. Yes, as a thank you for all we've done for the community, the organizer of this first-rate affair has provided an unlimited drinks pass to any <laughs> and all police officers. And that's not right, good. I say. I haven't seen the boys this excited since the raid on Madam Edna's massage for men. How is it you've allowed the entire force to get royally soused at once? Oh, go on, Hector. Come Why on, shouldn't our oh. hard-working chaps enjoy a bit of rest and relaxation? I would hardly call funneling enough cheap lager down their necks to incapacitate a rhino relaxing. Oh, any other day of the week, you'll be the first in the queue. Guilty. Gives a toss about Who my gives clothes. Who a flying toss about my clothes? Hector, if I may, you really do look like a frightful boob. Sir, the only thing stopping you from seeing a frightful boob is this gown. So thank your lucky stars I still have it tied up. <laughs> but sir, at times I have caught you from home wearing nothing but a look of mild contempt. 
Hector, I have heard enough of your nonsense. Today is a day to be proud of Clapper's Week, and I will not have you gallivanting around town, scaring children with your provocative dress sense. I'll hear no more about it. So am I acting alone on this one, Chief? Chief? I'm sorry, peculiar visitor to our town. You're speaking as though you are a member of my unit and not an escaped basket case, as I can only assume you must be. The toilets are at the other end of the fair. Good day. Okay, no help from the police. <clears throat> that giant bee on the tent looks promising. Unless it's the Clapper's Beekeeping Association. What? Oh my, aren't you a wee rockin' dude, eh? Kitty's face painting, how very twee. Round here it's normally done with needles. You know who gave rock and roll to you? God did, aye he did you know. Gave it to everyone. I'm sure I know that geezer. Scots accent, greenish tinge, but the nice threads throw me off a bit. Ah, sure it'll come to me eventually. I wonder if they'll serve men in backless dresses. Backless dresses. Okay, the police force out. Stain of these turkey twizzlers. Well, got to work with what you got. Listen up, meat sacks. Hey, hey, look, guys, Hector, and he's wearing a dress. Why, hi. This festival is under terrorist threat. Clapfest is currently on Terraco Black. You've got 30 seconds to assemble an attack plan Riker Theta 11. I don't think they will. Hey man, why are you wearing a dress? Sweet virgin mothers of teenage yothos. Be easier to mobilize woodlice than this lot. Damn, Sivorus Hector. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, maybe they'll do a lager fountain later. That always classes up a party. Lager fountain, eh? There we go. Tank's full again. Wow. Beer in a paper cup. How oh, uncouth. This is how a man drinks beer. I hope we all learned something today. This one must be light beer. Hey Cornish, isn't that your wife with Buxton over there? Hmm? Oh, sorry, just a trick of the light. Follow me, men, for battle and glory. Why? Ah, buggeration. Sorry, lot. Bugger me, it's Trampy Tim. Just Tim now. Trim Tim, if you prefer the alliterate nickname. It's me, your old mate, D.I. Hector. Remember me? I'm sorry, my memory of the last 25 years is considerably blurred. If I is this the drunk we found at the beginning of the game? Yep. <sighs> what you drinking these days, Timbo? Yeah, but the bean of caffeine, friend. Coffee got me back on track, I'll never waver. Cause if I waver, eh, I know I'm gonna... I'm gonna be the man who's wavering to you. I don't know, sometimes I just say stuff. 25 years of drunkenness make for a poorly filed attic, if you get me. Mm-hmm. So wonder if we can get into drink. So you're still off the sauce? Never touch a drop. No, the noble bean is my solace new. If I ever have even a drop of the old stuff, I'd probably go back to the jabbering husk of a man I once was. Yeah, but you were so funny. You used to live in a tip next to the station. I'd prefer to forget about that part of my life. I'm a changed man, you know. All thanks to... Hector! It's you! I didn't recognize you in your... Uh... How have you been since I last saw you? Burnt on a church. 
We're going in a septic tank. Can't complain. Woke up in a septic tank. That's good options. Yeah. a maze. I'm a new man since you got me off the drink. I should probably warn you that this fair's about to go to hell in a handbasket. Crikey. Oh? Some sort of bastard inducing bomb, I think. Don't quote me, though. Well, I'll keep the good out. Yes. Well, you should talk. Whoa! This ought to make him stone cold drunk. One coffee, sir. Ah, thank you. No, hang on a wee sec, cause that's fresh. Ah. Uh. Ah, tain't even warm. Is there some sort of vice frappino poncy wee summer dessert coffee? Um, uh, bah, I like my coffee like I like my woman. With foam? With foam? No! Hot enough to tear off my lops. Right. So oh, you German? Do I favor? Tiny you. My, my. What a fierce little, ah, uh, differently abled individual. What further cultural delights does Clapfest have for us this way? Perfect. Event security. Well, not perfect, but at this point I'll take anyone. Listen, there's a... No, listen, forget the gun for a second. Trousers. I'm a police officer in the middle of a very bad day. This festival... Shirt. Do it what I'm saying, there's a boat. Listen, chimp, if you're not part of the solution, then piss off. I need to warn everybody, right, flip in now, and you can't stop me. Or perhaps you can. Out. All right, all right. Need to find Crack clothes? The shrink boat. Come all this way from the boonies to save the town from Hell's doormat, and they want me to put on a clean shirt. It's ridiculous. Can we warm that there? Tasty as it looks, that gunk will ruin my cup before you can say fod, glorious fod. What's Run. fod? Run while you smith. Nothing, apparently. Good question. Why don't I could move? So Lambert? Got any helpful advice on my current predicament? Ask away, and I'll certainly do my He's best to provide clothes. you with vague and obscure counsel. That's all I've ever expected of you. Even after I put whiskey in the coffee cup, Tim still won't drink it. Really? Who could resist a nice hot cuppa? Sorry, what did you say there? Cuppa? No, before that. Nice? No, after that. I don't remember. My thoughts are like butterflies. Mm, look, there goes one now. Thanks, yes. boss. Oh, come. Oh, come. Well, you're going to have... What, a mo... <laughs> Enough to do the job back in my day. Back in your day, terrorists were still called ne'er-do-wells. Well, those things together... Something in here I could use? Holy hand grenades. Bugs. Oh, it's Nothing cushion is soft. Oh, maybe they'll do a lager fan. They went and started party time without me. They also finished party time by the look of it. <laughs> Blasphemy. <clears throat> no, 
nice threats, Timbo. Nice, uh, he's not even that nice, really. If I don't get some decent clothes, this old festival's gonna die. That's a bit harsh. Yes, dear, pop it. No, I didn't mean your garb, not to mention your whole outlook, is barely suitable for a family occasion. Yeah, really nice threads. You're creeping me out a bit. Hey, can I have all your clothes? My clothes? In exchange for what? Your good? Coffee? Tempting. You've located me one remaining vice and I'm positively gagging for it. But no, you can't have me suit. Thanks all the same. I'm a new man, no? My days of running through the streets with my air suit are well behind me. And of that we're all thankful. I'll smell ya later. Well, you should talk. Okay. I suppose I could camouflage me arse so it blends in. Feels like a bleeding target. Face painting. The middle class parents nod to the atavistic savagery in us all. Right, I will allow oh, you. Hell. People won't take me seriously dressed like I'm on day release. I need sensible clothing. So how do I warm the coffee then? All these questions. I spelled it wrong. The L should have been an R. Crap fest. Good question. Oh, c now nah, you're just tasty as it looks. That guy. Hmm. Let's take a look. That is one great steam. Do I need to get rid of this guy? Nah. How do I get rid of this guy? Death is upon us all. Why is he even talking about? <laughs> what kind of stupid prize is an empty plinth? Okay, I pour whiskey in this food. Mmm. <clears throat> Hot, toasty whiskey. Perfect for those drafty mornings when all you've got on is a so flimsy shapeless garment in with no arse in it. Cup. There Once we go. again, it's scrap. Now we go give him the coffee, we get his clothes, we can get into the stage and then do something. If there's one thing I hate more than alcoholics, it's flaming recovering alcoholics. This'll sort it. One steaming hot <clears throat> coffee for my mate Timbly Boo. Ah, fresh and hot. You know, Hector, I used to hope all the yep. time for turning me on to coffee. But I don't have I'm anything to do with you. I collect for charity on weekends and make my own soup for the homeless on Sundays. I'm a better man today, all thanks to you. Ah, Hector, I can't say it enough. You're a true saint. That'll teach you. Quitter. Quitter. <laughs> Jeez, I'm let's get his clothes. I can't wait to get my arse covered. You feel oddly vulnerable with your buns in the window. Well, that's probably true. Ah, 
That's better. Since I got here, I felt like every pervert in the place was homing in on me Kyber Pass. Uh, whatever that means. Looking sharp. Feeling reasonable. Let's crash this party. Right. Shirt, tie, trousers, shoes. Now, how'd you like to be a real crime fighter for a day? <laughs> There's an imminent terrorist threat here at Clapfest. God. Yes, I'm speaking to you, the guard. Now, the man we're looking for. Door. What about the door? I need you to. Guard. Door. Are you even hearing what I'm saying to you, Coco? Biochemical bomb? Terrorist threat? End of Clapper's Reek as we know it? Guard. Door. He's guarding the door. Private security for you. Must have surgically removed his brain and transplanted them into his arms. This guy has a boner. Hey, handsome. Would you like to make a donation to the Clapper's Reek Preservation Society? No. I'd love to, madam. Can I agree to die, detective oh, inspector, be sorry, virus? Sonny. Your money goes towards the How are you yeah, doing? Yeah, spare me the leaflet. Would you like to do How was the store? A lot of people? Or a debit card? Coins. Uh, coins? Lovely jubbly. Just put them in the tin. I um, actually don't have any coins on me. Actually, yes, I would like a sardine. Okay. You have clearly made peace with the fact that God gave you a horrific excremental visage. But your uncanny resemblance to a turd is not helped by wearing a toilet seat around your neck. How dare you! It's not a toilet seat, you palatable looking oof. It is a horse collar. Well, insult formally withdrawn then. Go on to the stage. I can't imagine anything beyond this point that requires one to be appropriately dressed. Should probably right, talk this to is them more. Jim Jowl from Clap FM coming to you from Clapfest. Come and catch the clap with your Uncle Jalzy. Just don't tell your daddy. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, look everybody, it's a fat guy. Hey, fatty, the toilets are that away. Oh, oh, oh. What kind of radio is that? Caught the clap once. Itched like a snake with eczema. But I'll do it all again for another 20 minutes with Sahara. Not even a real guitar. Trading one futureless art for another, I see. Hey, do you know Papa's got a brand new bag? Fat off, Chubbs. If I didn't know any better, and because of my complete lack of musical ability, I don't, I'd say he's miming. Think of the scandal when this breaks. The only way on at this stage without being sliced to ribbons is that stage door. Okay, we need to get rid of the guard. Hordes of aimless people are malfunctioning. Take about great the fun. Competition. Sausage post moves. Getting the great British public to look. Never had that. Sounds good. It's like asking a baby to vomit. <laughs> Rami to not listen to this radio station. Well, well, health and safety takes an holiday. Roll up. Roll up. The Roll up. Oh, it's the Tivoli. Look at the enormous underpants. What's all this then? What? What do you mean, man? I, I'm just doing my job. I'm just manning the switch, man. What, what do you want from me? Jeez, Louise, I was just being cordial. My name ain't Louise, okay? It ain't, it ain't, man. Sounds like someone's been beaten about the face with a wacky stick. So I just make the best post-colorist, though it's the kind of people I don't like a lot or not at all. Doesn't seem to be any middle ground. Need fix. I distrust any piece of machinery that has more than six fluorescent colours on it. Hey, hey man, 
I need that. Whoa. Okay. Right. Get off. Mind your business. What a flag. Well, those things together. So what's wrong with the ride? So what? What? <laughs> Nothing, man. Lay off. Oh, yeah. Calm down, stuttering Stanley. My name ain't Stanley, neither. It gets. Stretchy. Okay. This is a piss poor excuse for a festival. Despite mm -hmm. there being no entrance fee, I shall demand a full refund. <laughs> okay. That's not gonna work. No, tunnel of sweet love. The tunnel of. Oh my heck. What horrific display of depravity and perversion again. awaits through the turnstile of this gallery of sexual deviance. Hector! Oh, I should have known. H bomb, you hardly recognize me, eh? I've lost 14 stone. You look exactly the same. Yes, from here up, but to get me out of the basement of the exotical, they have to smoke off my legs. Caramel and That's beer all right. No, is excellent. So we don't have so it down here, then. I'll never see them. Senor Pene, now, eh? Good old rich, always a bright side. Gonna look for it when I'm in the big town next time. Let's ride this thing. Oi, it's Blind Alley. <laughs> With this might be familiar halitosis of Hector, I smell. <laughs> Gee, Sally, I'm all the way over here. What possible appeal can this ride have for you? It's the, uh, the smell of eroticism mingled with fear uh, and the howls of <laughs> anguish. Put those with the uh, uh, filthiest mind in Clapper's Reek and you have an, uh, an unforgettable experience. Okay. Another round, my friend. <laughs> you know it. What's the worst that... No, I'm not going to finish that sentence. So... What's this tunnel all about? Some sort of cut price knocking shop, is that it? No, and then again, yes, in a way. It is a mysterious and tantalizing display that plums the very depths of your innermost desires, fantasies, and nightmares. Horotica, I call it. It's like nothing you've ever seen. Horotica, I like that word. Arousing while at the same time terrifying and uh, <laughs> actually rather hard disgusting. Hard to see the nail, a glass box. Well, that's cool. Disgusting. Coming from you, I'm actually rather frightened. Glass bottles. Seems like a little more. Uh, what's the word? Rich. Blimey, you're looking well. I'm in for a guy who's high class. The heart on him, literally. <clears throat> oh, Hector, when an entire building falls on you, it's a good time to take stock of your life. Know what I mean? Only too well. So, how's tricks since the Exotico uh, shut down? Oh, Hector, I can't begin to express how... Hungry. <laughs> Hungry? How truly overjoyed I was to finally be shot of the place. Truth to be told, it was weighing me down. Now, I can follow my big dreams. That's a good idea of yours. I, you just, I gotta have to ask them. Yes, dreams. And now, with the recovery payments, NHS benefits, unemployment, not to mention the whopping insurance payout. Oh, Hector, if you could only crawl inside of me and see what I can see. Uh, no thanks. Looks like you've already got a few people in there. Where did you put this together? Oh, it's just a little something I was working on on the side. Exotica was my bread and butter. Kept me fed while I thought about the future. Fed you rather well, it seems. And now, with the recovery payments, image has been its unemployment. Yeah, I, before. Oh, uh, no. I have a confession to make. I knocked down your pawn shop. You did? Yeah. I really wish you hadn't told me that. Sorry. There goes my plausible deniability. 
anyone from Midlands Insurance Rings, you were in Milton McCain's that day, yes? I'm here for you, brother. Or not, as you were. Larger villages in Hampshire also have them in stock, okay? We're gonna have to go into the big Ica then. My local one doesn't have it. So, is this you now? Touring the country with a tunnel of sweet love? This now it's no, seven o'clock no, no, no. and I have to do a for like for five, ten minutes. I'm dabbling with a few new business ventures here and there, just waiting for the funds to come through. I'd tell you more, but I don't want to ruin the surprise. Oh, I can't uh, wait. Anything I can do to make it up to you? Hector, you've done so much for me already. The loss of my business, my legs. Hector, you're a true saint. Is there nothing at all I can do? Truth of it all, I'm a bit peckish. Done. What? What are you in the mood for? Oh, something sweet, moist, and smells faintly of cherry. Are we talking about the same thing? Depends. What were you talking about? You first. Not you. I was talking about food. <laughs> then I also was talking about a food. <laughs> Uh, ciao. ciao. Later, homie. Is there more? This is gonna be a big puzzle then. Sniper oh, sales. Two of my first loves. Eating and shooting Jailed indiscriminately at unsuspecting people. It's like asking a mother to choose between her children. Men and women, young and old, everyone loves to fantasize. I'm not even that hungry. Lady, take your son and run. The end is near. Oh, ha, oh, oh, my son indeed. I'm his great grandmother. I'm just watching him for his mum and nan. They're in prison. They're in prison? Can't say I've ever met a Gigi ILF before. By the way, don't go taking the ILF as some kind of flattery. In recent years, I've set the bar so low now, I've lost it in the grass. <laughs> That's a low bar. That icing is an interesting colour. Oh, that isn't icing. That's spit up. Little Kiefer must have been at that one. He just loves icing, he does. He wants it morning, noon and night. I know the feeling. So, we're we talking about is it? Here? Four. Still not got any teeth? Poor wee bugger. Oh, he had teeth. And they all had to come out. Dentist told me too much sugar and not enough folic acid. Can you believe that? Quack. I mean, hello. Acid's only gonna rot them faster, innit? I'm no expert on children, but I believe his nappy needs changing. Really? Because on the package it said they're good for 10 to 12 pounds. Oh, oh I can feel the IQ dropping just standing close to you. <laughs> so what's this jailbait business then? You got a loved one on the inside, sir. I do have quite a few acquaintances currently serving some time at Her Majesty's pleasure. No one I love enough to send a tray bait to necessarily. And don't you think a little pick me up like this would make their sentence seem just a little bit shorter? Judging by the looks of these, I'd say more like insult to injury. What's the secret ingredient? What's the secret ingredient? Uh, love, of course, and plenty of iron. <laughs> Please don't giggle inappropriately. It <laughs> makes me see nervous. things on the bright side. Always. What's so special about these? I don't put any ingredients into the cakes that I wouldn't feed little Kiefer here. That narrows it down to crisps, then. Silly, not just crisps, other stuff too. Oh boy. What prompted you to start this There's a clue in here somewhere. Initiative? Apart from me and Kiefer here, everyone else in our family is currently inside. His four uncles, two aunts, eight great uncles, 19 cousins, and several others suspected of being his father. Must make Christmas a bit quiet. Totally. Kiefer only just made bail, otherwise I would have had to eat a whole tray of oven chips myself. Okay, I'm gonna have to take a little break here. I'm back in like... Five or ten minutes.
go back again. I'm gonna have to go for another like 15-20 minutes. Then I'm gonna have to go for today. I could go on talking about Kate. It's gonna be a little shorter stream today. Wanna talk about EastEnders instead? I'll ask the questions, love. How are your cakes selling? Like cold cakes? I believe the expression is like hot cakes. I'm aware of that, and my cakes are selling like the opposite of hot cakes. Not at all. Not very well then. Now, barely made enough to die to buy Keeper that pop. He was practically dying. Ted, off an hour. You'll be back. Probably. Yeah, probably. Oh, we're going to the toilets. It oh, it's a lie. This area marks the end of all that Clapper's Reek has to offer. This guy really needs to go. Jump the toilet queue. I don't need to go, and even if I did, I wouldn't go in there. Okay. Now, see here. If you want to use this toilet, you can wait in the queue like everyone else. I hate queues. Poor saps. Why don't they go behind a tent like I did? And yes, it was a number two. Now, see here. If you want to do. I don't think we can do anything here right now. What is this? Men thing? and women. Surprise, surprise. The one with a gun is the most popular booth at the fair. Talk to the baby? Hello, hello. Hi, hi, little guy. Where's your smiles? Hey, hey. Big twat. <laughs> okay. You'll be dead before six. <laughs> okay, so back to the tunnel. Can I ride the tunnel? I'm no rich far too well to brave this monstrosity. Hey, not. guys, what's in there? <laughs> Same answer as in every episode. What am I supposed to do with the flag? Now None of these wants a flag. Can I get... Can I get up on the stage? Nobody there. Yo, this one goes out to all my ladies. Yes, yes, yo. I hate those kids. Young man, would you like a map? Yes. A map? Of what? Of Clubfest, of course. Here you are. I realise that most of the residents aren't bright or sober enough to find their own arse with a torch. But I myself have no trouble seeing to the other side of this football pitch. No thank you, dearie. Fudge doesn't agree with me. I didn't say anything that sounds like fudge. Toilets are down the end, pet. Pet. Okay, looking in the septic fields across from the clock tower. It's clap fast! Be there or die. <clears throat> Paid for by the Clavis Week Preservation Society and a great generous donation from Hector. Strictly come gurning, tunes by Blind Vendetta, projectile vomiting, <laughs> headlines clocks new ringtone, and stick around for a special surprise. Mayhem. Sounds like a party. Face paint. We already fucked up the face paint. Okay, I'm not getting anything from that. Can I talk to I you again? Got any gurning tips for an amateur? For you, give up. 
A symmetrical face like yours could never achieve what I am in Gurnin world. I don't know whether to be insulted or relieved. Nah. Good day, Hansel. I've got a few questions about this event. Well, shoot them all over me, precious. I'll pretend you didn't say that. <laughs> Sam. Are you a member of the Clappers Reek Preservation Society? Heavens no. I don't even know what they do. I just take the occasional bit of volunteer work. Gets me out of the house. Why, just last week I was recruiting for a nice fellow named Al-Qaeda. Okay. We got the terrorist jokes in here. Are you aware of the forthcoming terrorist threat at this very festival? Terrorist? Sorry, dearie. I'm not down with the kids' mumbo jumbo. What's a terrorist? Someone who erodes the core of our way of life. Oh, like that Richard Maidley fellow. Never liked the cut of his jib. Not exactly, ma'am. Hmm. How can I warn everyone here of their impending doom? You'll probably need to use the PA system, okay, but you'll need we've to gotta go on stage, stage for that. Excellent. Oh, but I'm sorry, pet. You're not nearly ugly enough. And I need enough. to be ugly? Uh, what does my Nick Chase have to do with anything? Well, the only people allowed on stage are qualifiers for Strictly Come Gurning. Okay. What's Gurning? Allow me. Gurnin is all about mastery of the art of facial manipulation. Like so. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, God. Okay. To enter the contest, you must flame your disfigured, horrible face with a braffin. Ah, I was wondering why you had a toilet seat around your neck. It's a braffin, a braffin, you uncultured, gorgeous sunbeam with eyes not very far apart. Braffin. <laughs> He's very sensitive about the braffin. What's a braffin? <sighs> Who are you calling not ugly? Real gurners have the ability to make you projectile vomit at the mere sight of them. Like Barnard here. He's the only Turn contestant. Fresh faced little Deezy. Do the children, they run from you? Yes, some, most really. And the ladies, do their screams of repulsion give you goosebumps upon your misshapen brow ridge? Well, uh, you are no gurner. Never. Be gone. Your average looking face is making me feel feared. I must prepare. You'd better go. You're putting him off his game. He's put me off my lunch, and that's saying something. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so I'd like to enter. I'd like to enter the gurning contest. Oh, very funny. Now, how can I help? Madam, I appreciate that your advanced years are playing havoc with your cognitive capacities, but I understand that you are taking entries for the gurning contest. And I appreciate that. While you seem like too busy a man to even pause in front of a mirror, this contest is open to extremely ugly people only. Okay. And you do not need to get qualify. Ugly. I do. Wait. Yes. Thank you. What? This is a battle I never thought I'd find myself in. Okay, so how do we get so, ugly? Is Strictly Come Gurney the only way to get on stage? Yes, only qualifying contestants will be allowed. And you, my dear, are nowhere near ugly enough to stand a chance. Oh, I'll see. I'll be back. Huh. They won't let me enter. So, who do I know around here who's uglier than me, stupider than me, and more willing to make a complete ass of himself? There's got to be someone around here I know like that. Someone who'll do anything I tell him to, even if it means embarrassment, demoralisation, and self-inflicted harm. Think, Hector, think. Oh, it will come to me, I'm sure. But I'd best be off. I'm going to go talk to Hector. I can use the map, right? Yeah, thank God. 
Yeah, Lambert. Did I say Hector again? Why do I mess hey, those Lambert, names up? You're ugly, right? Not unless Philomena's been lying to me. How would you like to use your powers for good instead of just frightening small children? I need to get up on stage to warn the public, but I'm not ugly enough. Oh, boss, I'd like to help, but Meeks needs me here at the booth. We're doing a waterboarding demo in a few minutes. Waterboarding Let me remind demo. you of something, Lambert. You and me, we're partners. And that means I own you. Just to wrap That's that over, what it I'm means. putting you in my infantry. Now, when I tell you to do something, whether it's for the good of the town or merely for my own amusement, you do it. You got that? Sure, partner. Good. Hey, since we're partners, can I put you in my inventory? Piss off, Stretch. I'll snap when I need ya. Can we, can we, can we... Put him into the competition then? We need this to get on stage. Just shut up and let me do the talking. I don't know how Philomena will take it if I go home looking like that. To be perfectly honest, Lab, I would be very much surprised if it was any more of a disappointment to her than your regular appearance. Good day, madam. I would like to enter this gentleman into a strictly a cum gurning. <laughs> him, him, he's as lovely as the moon on a still leak. He's a cherry blossom, a cherub. Enough, Bernard, I've handled this. May we go up on stage now? Now hold on, Sonny. First of all, it's contestants only, so he'd be going up on stage, not you. And second, your entry. Sorry, what, what, what's your name, Sonny? Ah, uh, please direct all questions to me. I'm his agent, promoter and translator, and I demand to be allowed on stage with him. In that case, You'd need to be up there with him. However, if I may say so, your entry... Yegevni Kalashnikov from Smegmavia. Yevgeny doesn't exactly conform to the standards of Strictly Come Girl. What a name. How so? Well, dearie, while we can all see he's below average in looks, he isn't so far below as to skew the margin of error. Not ugly enough, chick. Plus, he'd need a brathen. What a chuff is a brathen. You want a girl. Yet you don't know braffin. Ho, ho, ho. Look, me neck is blood ring like horse collar. Right. So he's not allowed on stage without a hideously deformed face and a black ring round his neck. That's right, pet. The more hideous, the better. Like John Prescott after he's had his face pummeled with a penis face. in a sock. Perfect. Got it. Beats it, Yevgeny. That's you, Lambert. Oh. I was wondering who you kept talking about. I think we can paint his face, right? Look at me. See? Trappy Tim's so much better value when he's minced. What are you? An idiot? Can't? I can't combine those things. Go to the police tent, kitty. Superintendent Meeks will take care of you. Be sure and give him a big hug first, like he's your granddad. Oi, trap me. Enjoy your coffee, did ya? Ach, didn't talk about that. I'm a footing butterfly again, but deep for the cocoon of feckin' sobriety. Ah, get your faces painted here, kiddies! Ugh. I'll take that as a yes. Somehow, old, old Tim Bola always manages to help. That's a good thing, I guess. Who might need gold paint, though? Huh, let's try it. This. Well, those things together. Probably not. Now nah, you're just be. What the? 
Oh, great. More dodgy happenings I've got to turn a blind eye to. <laughs> you never know when you'll need a quick fix. <laughs> That's weird. Hey, quick, put it away. <laughs> Okay, uh, thanks for dropping in, Mr. Fix. It appears whatever you just did has fixed the problem. Yep, smooth as a cucumber. Once again, thanks for the fix. Why is he talking like he's on a bad day? He's going to manage to cure his mentor's alcoholism with a pot of coffee. And then when he's going to make something of himself, you bring him right back down. Yeah. That's the best. You... What are you? Oh, come on. Well, those things... Now nah, you're just be... Oh. I've been stuck a few times. Oh, well, I can always check the hints, but I'm gonna work on it a little bit first. As this for duds, may I address you now? Oh, huh? now that's the Hector I know. Now, what was it you were on about before? At the risk of sounding redundant, this festival is in grave danger. Oh, nonsense, my boy. The only danger we're in is the danger of having too much fun. Ha, 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 ha. I think I might even treat myself to some fairy floss. Interested? Fairy I couldn't floss. be less interested, even if you had just asked me to nail my chopper to a burning warehouse. So you'll do nothing to help this community? Ha! What do you think I'm doing right now? I won't be answering that out loud. Sir... The people of Clapper's Reek are in grave danger. What? Preposterous. That's nothing I'm new the chief here, right? of police. Some Just sort of infection. Toxic. The be... only ill. The town is positively virulent. Why? And about as you. Sir, I'm. Oh, well, you're in luck. I am. Yeah, they're the drunk in yes, the tent. Every the single one of them. And two. I haven't. Yeesh, talking to you is about as useful as a cucumber in the nunnery. Shall we talk strategy about your upcoming gurning tournament? Let's do this! How can I make you uglier? Where can I get you a breath in? Dunno, where did that guy get his? Who, that turd-faced bloke at the info booth? Looked like he got his off a public bog. Oh, I'm gonna take it from the, the, the toilet. Good. How can I make you uglier? Oh, I don't know if that's possible. You're telling me. Remember, she said something about facial muscles only. Right, so I can't beat you or bruise you or cut you or disfigure you in any way. <laughs> oh, thanks goodness for that. Doesn't say anything about scaring the ever-living bedazzlers out of you, though. Hey, remember that time at Madam Edna's? Oh, please! Don't say it out loud. I still get a facial tick just thinking about it. I know the fine town of Clappers Week could possibly be in such a rundown state if it is such a fine and alert chief of police on the force. Sarcasm off. You worried about that other contestant? Good questions. No, remember, it doesn't matter if you win or lose, it's getting on stage that matters. You're right. That's a lesson we can all live by. Forget okay, it. so I need to. Oh, good idea. You're better at this stuff than <sighs> I am. I need to stop pretty soon. Don't let... Thanks. Toilet. Let's go back to the toilets. How do we get in here? My God, oh my God, that would fit perfectly in there. That toilet seat is the perfect breath in. <laughs> Sir, I insist you let me into that toilet. Back of the queue, social vagrant. That queue is kinda long. Now, 
now see here. I believe I made myself quite clear. Sorry, old timer. Gonna have to find a pot plant or an old chili bowl or something. Too late, I fear, young man. Thank <laughs> God for incontinence pants. Are you coming out of there? Well, um... Well, uh, what? Not any time soon, no. Okay. Lord helium tanks, let's look at those. You don't think... You don't think those are full of that bastard gas from the farm, do you? No, just your stand in front of the milk helium tanks. Cool. What in the name of Jeebus H. Seinfeld do I need a massive tank of helium for? How number one, I know? there's no way I could lift them without aid. And number two, I've got nothing that needs to be inflated. No, nope, absolutely useless to me at this moment. They can just sit right there. I will, however, make a mental note of their location should I need them in the future. Good. Now we need to get this guy out. Nah, can't be asked. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice of him. An idiot. Hey, big fella, got you something that may help. Please, I hope it's not only that one ply. I put my finger through this and I feel I may not get it back again. What? So to go if you don't mind. Mm. Ah, all the royal treatment. Oh, <laughs> this is divine. You realize I could have you for treason? Well, I think you'll agree that it would have been a worse crime to leave it the way it was. What have they done in there? Perfect. That looks just enough like a braffin to get away with it. Very easy to imagine Lambert's head through there. I don't need to go, and he... Somehow it always comes back around to toilets, doesn't it? Yeah. Hey, can I just... I'll give this... Let's go back to the booth then and give it to him. Proper floating log. Thanks, boss. You never called me proper anything before. It's good. Well, I think we're gonna have to stop here for now, though. Let's see if we can save. Usually it saves, yeah, as soon as you do that. That's a good face paint right there. Well, I'm going to have to call it here. I got some stuff to prepare for tomorrow. Some friends are coming over. I got to go to work and it's going to be a long day tomorrow. So I'm going to have to go and prepare some stuff. <laughs> the cow jokes. Well, thank you for being here, Holo. Always appreciate it. Uh, let's see here. If I can, can I stream tomorrow? I'm not sure. There is a chance I'm quitting early at work though maybe I can stream an hour or two but I have no idea when or if but I'll post on the discord if I go live and if I do we'll keep working on this puzzle here but for now I gotta have to go so thank